Hi, this is Bob. I'm working on a Heathkit uh, HW104, which is also the same. Uh, this is the final circuit board, the PA board they call it. The transistors in this are shorted. I had I had taken three of them out, and as I was doing it, I thought, you know, I'll bet there's a lot of guys out there would like to see how you do that. This board here is a phenolic board. It's not the G10 uh, fiberglass board that you find in the SB104. The boards are identical, but uh, this board will not take the heat as much as the uh, glass board will, the fiberglass board, the G10. So you want to get in there quickly and take your parts off and uh, make your repairs without too much heat and too much time spent. So I thought, gee, I'd like to show these guys uh, how we did this at Heathkit when I worked there in the service department. Uh, notice that I've got two little wood blocks under the corners of the circuit board. I got a couple pieces of cardboard that I just tore off of a uh, off of a box, and that's to protect the board a little bit. And this is a piece of uh, of uh, three eighths inch plywood that I've got setting here, and that provides something to uh, to to. Uh, hold it. Uh, the the uh, HW104 is right here. And the HW104 and the SB104 are identical uh, in all aspects except the SB104 has got a digital readout. So they'll be the same. Uh, when we did this uh, Heath kit we all had, uh, we all had uh, X-Acto knives. Well, this is an X-Acto hobby knife with a number 11 blade. And a knife like this or one like it. I like a lot of heat, so I use my Weller 8200 soldering gun. And you might see in there, I dropped it the other day and I glued it back together with E6000. That's a really great glue. And so what you do, I'll demonstrate here. See, I'll get this best for the camera angle. So you can see, hold the gun with my left hand. And you want to start on one side of the transistor and heat him up right on the tab and you can get this exacto knife to go under the tab and you can see how I fold it up like that now we want to get it folded up all the way like so and when we do that then we come around and we get another tab by the way when I put these back in I always put a little bend in the end of the tab that points up a little bit to make it easier. Now we'll fold that one up like that, see? Now the transistor should be coming loose. My problem here is that I'm trying to do this video demonstration. I can actually do this quicker when I don't have to do it so that you can see it. But I like the extra heat of this gun. I like to get in there, get it done, and get out. Okay, now those two are loose. You can see it's moving a little bit. Now we'll get this one back here. There we go. And then for the last one, I just grab it with a pair of long nose pliers and pull the last one off. Now all of these transistors are shorted. I checked them with the uh, Simpson meter before I started. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get those off. Now to put a new one in there, you just set it back down, re-solder, make sure you don't have any solder bridges, and you're back in business. I did have to take the capacitor out that was in the core. I took both capacitors out, in fact. I'm going to put new ones in. Those are for anti-oscillation, and I checked those two, and one of them had reduced in capacity by a considerable amount. So I took them both out. Okay, so that's it guys. Just wanted to show you that. 73's and Heath Kits forever.